are going to the Austin TV Festival in Austin, Texas, clearly, but I thought that I needed to just clarify. Um, we're going to try to get into some panels free because we are not going to pay $180 to go see panels. You know, anyway, we're going to try to get into the Friday Night Lights Revisited panel, which is going to have a whole bunch of awesome people in it. And then the One Tree Hill panel, if you can't tell, that was clearly for me, not for my little brother. So, what is that? What is one Tree. I didn't even run for actually going to try to go to One Tree Yeah, Hill. yeah, we're going to try to go to the One Tree Hill panel. And then we're going to the Bill Lawrence and Friends panel, which yeah. is... If you didn't know, Bill Lawrence was the... He's the writer of Scrubs and uh, Cougar Town. And so we're going to go into that one, which my little brother is clearly very excited about. And then after we do that, we're going to go and we're going to see Jesse Plemons' band play Cowboys and Indians. Um, and we're going to get to um, watch the very first episode of Friday Night Lights and the series finale. Five minutes to go outside of the team. And I was getting this huge hug and I was like, I was walking away to Starbucks with my wife and I was like, this was a little bit of a long hug, wasn't it? Like, too much. <laughs> uh, but no, I was, I was a huge fan of the show and, and, you know, I just, my parents, they only watched my episodes and we were like, you need to watch the, the, the whole thing. So we got to watch the pilot a couple weeks ago and I was just dazzled by both of these guys' performances. Um, so humbling to be a part of this. I was, my wife and I were both huge fans before we ever got to play. So um, anyway, just grateful to be here and part of the fam. I'm Lorraine Stevens. I play Grandma Saracen. <laughs> this is really weird. I'm not going to get it. I don't know what to say about it because it's so, it was so great. I didn't know I was going to tell. <laughs> so I, I didn't have to research my part. It's a composite of women that I love and respect from a little town called called Odell, Texas, where my mother and daddy were born. And uh, there's only about 90 people left now. I used to have movies and all that. And I still kept my parents' house up there. And right across the street is the shack. Well, there's a lot of shacks, but right across the street is the shack, and I have a picture of it. So I put this picture in my room. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so he's in there, and I say, well, I brought this for you. It's what I've been working for him. Oh my God, you live here? <laughs> no, I don't live there, but I should cross the street from my house. Of course, I live in Dallas, right? <laughs> he said, this is incredible. I mean, it was really a cool picture. And I said, yeah. And this is the line that I'm really still embarrassed about. Yeah, there used to be a whole bunch of things there. There was movie theaters and banks and everything, but now everything's gone except the sunset. <laughs> and I'm trying to get my musician's son to write a song. Everything's gone except the sunset. So then, he said, all right, sit over in that chair and get that pillow. And there was like, just, you know, little couches and pillows and stuff. He said, I want you to throw me that pillow over and over like it's a football and say stuff. <laughs> so that's what happened. And like he said, it was so much fun. <laughs> you don't always listen to what they tell you in classes. You have to go with your gut. It's your audition, not theirs. If you make the wrong, wrong choice, sweat the heck. At least you have a good time. What he meant to say was, we're waiting on cowboys and Indians to start. I, I just said to Matt, somebody should say something about Jason because he's so nice and so cool. <laughs> And I really, really like him a lot. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank him and all the writers, all the producers, everybody that let us have these characters. They really gave them to us. In fact, I think they finally started writing what they thought we would say. And I got that feeling. Anyway, a big round of applause for Jason.